welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Movie Review. And today I am reviewing Sully. <laughs> now, now, he wanted to kind of go watch this in the theater and, you know, insert reasons here. We never got to go see it, so he picked it up. And he's like, last night after I finished my, you know, FF15 movie there, he's like, you know, you should watch this. It's a great movie. And I'm like, okay, well, then I know the story. And for those of you who weren't alive like 10 years ago <laughs> you know it's about a airplane captain there who had to make a snap decision because he ran into birds fine a flock of geese or pelicans or parrots or whatever the hell they were and they got in the engine and of course well engines kind of important to keep plane afloat so it's like well we're not going to make it back to you know whatever airport it was what's in, this is New York. Where are you going to find a long street thing? Only thing you could find? Hudson River. And he crashed into the Hudson. I mean, he's... And, uh, it was a great story. It was nice to see on the news something happy. You know, here's a plane crash that wasn't a crash. You know, he successfully crashed the plane, if that makes sense. But... So I'm like, okay, well, I know the story, and the guy seemed pretty cool, you know, the captain, and it's a real-life story. But I usually don't go into these kind of movies. I'm, I'm more emotionally invested in, you know, sci-fi fantasy. That's that's what, you know, I'm interested in, so. This, I'm, it, it didn't, eh. <laughs> I just find them boring. I don't normally watch them. Uh, but Tom Hanks is pretty cool, so he's the one that plays Sully. Uh, is... Is there a movie Tom Hanks has ever been unattractive in? Except maybe, like, what, Philadelphia or what, whatever it was when he was, like, really, really thin. But it's like... <laughs> he, he, he plays Captain Sullenberger, so he's got white hair and a mustache, but he's still handsome. So he, he never seems to change, as, you know, back from his bosom buddy days to like now. There's just something consistently handsome about Tom Hanks. Uh... <laughs> what thing, though? <laughs> I couldn't place this guy, the first officer, for the longest time. Like, who the hell's this dude? The guy that played Two Face in Batman. Um, was it? Who was playing Batman at that point? Was it? Uh, what's his face? Yeah, of course, because it was Heath, Heath, Heath Ledger there. But Two Face in that era of movie, I'm like, oh. But the dude's mustache. So friggin' help me, I don't even know if you can pick this up. Every scene he was in, I'm like, mustache, because it was like. Basically, the size of the cell phone underneath his lip. <laughs> this thing was gigantic. <laughs> so I kept laughing at the mustache. <laughs> uh, let's see. The, and of course, being a real life story, they use clips of like n news footage. And then they'll use like clips of the news footage. Then you have like the actors like reenacting like talking to like the survivors going oh he's my hero and there was such a stupid layer of cheese cheese added it was an unrealistic it was just really weirdly done how they connected those scenes uh and the fact that they actually <laughs> that just how awkward was that for katie Keurig 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 keurig, keurig? where she originally interviewed captain sully the real guy so they reenacted it with Tom Hanks. <laughs> it was like very strange and awkward. So you're like, what? It, 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 there was just this disbel. This, it just took me out of the movie. It just that level of silly. It was something just not quite natural about the way it fit. Uh, I mean, the basic premise of the story. The, the way the movie is portrayed is basically the fact guy saves lives, lands plane and river, people who own the plane are bitching because he broke the plane. <laughs> Fuck the lives. It's like the whole story is based around the fact that, well, you know, the engine, the second, apparently both engines went, according to Captain Sully. Well, the people that own the plane are like, well, no, the one engine didn't, you know, you might have had enough oomph to get to whatever place so we could have saved the plane. You know, you broke the plane, basically, and you should be punished for breaking the plane. And that's what the entire movie's about. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? 
the, the whole movie mostly suits b bitching that the pilot broke the plane, not saving lives. That was my note. Uh, I did find it really kind of slow, but then I'm not a fan of these movies to begin with. So, eh. <laughs> And apparently, mumbling equals drama. Now, how like 90% of the movie is like Sully and talking to like his wife on the phone. I'm trying to remember. Or he's talking to his buddy. And I'm like, okay, is mumbling equal drama? Enunciate. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're saying half the time. And it wasn't the volume on my computer. He's like, so, so. I mean, he's trying to talk low and try to have a private conversation. But it's like, so, so. Is this a thing in these kind of movies? I don't know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> now, as far as like airplanes, I have never been on an airplane. I have no desire to be on an airplane. The crashing part, I don't think bothers me. It's the fact that I would be trapped in a tube of other human beings for an extended amount of time with no escape. So <laughs> it's like, mm, yeah, I don't want to be that close to humanity. So th that that would be the thing that I couldn't be around the people for that long. You know, it's like planes aren't big enough for me to be comfortable with. That. Uh, and and I don't know how the the real life Captain Sullenberger felt about the movie, but I would have been kind of pissed and embarrassed because there's a lot of scenes where Sully just flakes out, where he's He'll be at, like, the window. There's a scene where he sits standing at a window. He's got to go to, like, a press conference or something. He's standing at the window, looking over New York, and he sees his plane coming and crashing. And this happens multiple times where he's in a situation, you know, and the people are reacting to him, and he just spaces out having visions. I mean, did the real man go through this? I mean, I can understand where they're, you know, they're pressuring him, saying, well, no, you know, your experience means moot, basically. You know, you could have saved the plane. I'm like, who gives a shit about the plane? He just saved a whole plane full of people. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> so that was kind of annoying. And this was over the entire course of the movie, where he's like, uh, can I have a movie? But I mean, even with those like strange, it was just a strangely put together movie. It was still a fairly entertaining movie. I mean, I made it all the way through, and there was a little extra scene at the end. Uh, it goes, the untold story behind the miracle on the Hudson. So, I mean, it's just... It, but it was kind of annoying where it's like, here's a happy movie, or at least a happy story, yet they still want to be like, <laughs> like, drag it down. It was just... I don't know. I think they could have done... Be a little more respectful to the actual captain and co-pilot. Goes on January fifteenth, two thousand nine. Captain Chelsea Sully Sullenberger, played by Tom Hanks, and his co-pilot Aaron Eckhart, begin a routine flight that turns terrifying. Sully pulls off the impossible and glides his disabled plane onto the frigid waters of the Hudson River, saving all of the hundred and fifty-five people on board. Even though he's heralded for his unprecedented feat of aviation skill, an all-out investigation threatens to destroy Sully's reputation and career. So, hmm. so if you like, you know, real-life stories that are at least, you know, pleasant, you know, you, it's a good story. It's an uplifting story, and you, you know, you really respect the the pilot and the, the pilots, you know, and. You need more people like Captain Sully in this <laughs> plane, and many, many, many of them. So, I do, I do suggest watching this. I personally am not of a particular taste for this genre, but you know, if you have like a crappy day or something, maybe it's a good movie to you know lift you up. So, next was Kufu's review of Sully. Yeah, did you give it two thumbs up? You're helping me watch. Any, 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 anything you'd like to add? No? Well, he liked the movie, too. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at The Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>
Anyway, I'm getting nothing done. Can't reach. <laughs>